guys, welcome back. Yeah. Yes. What, what are we doing today, ladies? We're going so on. yeah, we're doing fufu challenge. Not really the challenge, but we're here to teach you guys a lesson about hey, joking, joking, with, joking with our Food traditional culture. Yeah. yeah. It's not you want to show them? Yes. Yeah, so this is fufu and peanut Go. soup mm -hmm. with goat's meat. Yes. Hey. Okay. On TikTok, what is going around is the fufu and the goosey, which is more of a Nigerian mm -hmm. way, mm -hmm. which is also good. The whole point of this you is that it? I have not had it. My so mom, how are you gonna say my it? mom has, <laughs> had, mom it. has had it. But, yeah. I'm, but I'm, I'm not like, even trying to come to the night. I just assume <laughs> that you know. Right. Yeah. If the Nigerians are eating it, it has to be, be good. good. It has right. to be good. So, um, the point is this: <laughs> if you're going to try somebody's culture, please. Don't be ignorant. So yeah. Let's do that. I think what I'm seeing on TikTok is people eating the fufu and then like spitting it out. Yeah, having a negative reaction about it and then posting it on TikTok. You like, guys are being so nice. Let me tell you this. Go ahead, girl. Your taste palette is mediocre. It is. <laughs> Your taste palette has not acquired. The, you have no acquired taste. Mm. For you to eat something and spit it out and like, eh, this is nasty. How y'all eat this? Excuse me. Exactly. This is my first time having a but there's okra there's goat and what's the what's the peanut consistency is it like grounded nut it's yeah peanut it's butter. peanut butter it's actual peanut butter yeah mm -hmm. oh. peanut butter yeah it's actual peanut butter it was good. It was it was my first time. They took my little um, peanut butter soup virginity, <laughs> and I was very pleased. The meat was juicy. The okra was spicy. I just my tongue is. <laughs> it was really good. I would recommend it. Mm, I'm glad. Yeah. Um, good good job, good Chef job. Rachel. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I think though. If you're gonna try African food, there are some tips that we need to give you. We need to put you guys on to. Yes. As amazing as African food is, I think I sometimes in my head compare African food to like Asian cuisine, simply because of how diverse the ingredients are and so unique. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you're going to an African restaurant, I would say, okay, obviously walk in there with an open mind, but also maybe with mint in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Simply because after you're done eating your fufu, or after you're done eating your wache or your gusi or your whatever it is that you're about to eat, your mouth would need some orbits. It would need. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because that's tasty forever. Yeah. Even now my lips are like tingling a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yes, like you just have to make sure that you have a way of just cleansing your your tongue mm -hmm. for the next meal. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. especially watching with the shita because the shita is very very strong, so it's like. Yeah. You can just keep walking around. Like yeah. That. Yeah. And also, I would say if you go into the restaurant and the person at the, the cashier or whoever has a little attitude, don't mind them. Yeah. Don't mind them. Because the, the, the worse the attitude or insults or however side eye, the better the food is going to be. Yeah. It's the same way, you know, the Jamaicans know when we go to the Jamaica restaurant, if they're not rude to you, you should be concerned. So, like, <laughs> honestly, if you go there and they're a little bit rude, it's just that, you know, that African. Swing, you know, we're Swing. it's like you know, we're rude to the people we love, that's what it is. You know, it's all love, like they'll give you an attitude, but the food they serve you is going to be good and they'll yeah. really appreciate your business. Yeah. Yes, also, don't talk back when they give you attitude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. yeah don't, no. make my test don't make that's the exchange. It. Okay. Just say, okay, thank you, okay. Yeah, okay. Yes. Thank, you thank you. Well, I would just say, just be positive about the food that you're trying because it's, if it's your first time, just be open minded about it, don't be negative about it. That's all I have to say. Okay. So with that, we're gonna dive into today's yep. segments, mm -hmm. which is what? Uh, money makes you attractive. Yep. Question. Question. Question mark. <laughs> Does money make you attractive? Does Do it? we like to date people that are not as cute as us? What is going mm -hmm. on on the streets of what is being said? On the sidewalk. On the sidewalks. I mean, no, this is what's going on on the streets. And we are watching from the sidewalk. Okay. So the streets mm -hmm. are saying, you know, money makes people attractive. The streets are saying, you have to be uglier than me to date me. But we're just watching you guys from the sidewalk. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you think? Uh -huh. Have you dated someone who you thought, damn, I'm definitely the Beyonce of our relationship? Yeah, yeah I, I have. <laughs> I, mean, I, think, I think two guys. 
guys. Yeah. I think we've all asked. We all. You don't get you don't just because, just because, because you're, you're like. You're like, hmm, I know that in this relationship, like... I'm the cutest one. Nah. You, you should be thinking nah, that. That's, that's weird uh, to me. Because I, I like to date people that are equal. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... I don't... I like to date someone I'm attracted to and I feel like we are matching each other. I have this thing, though, like... You know Michael Ely? Yeah. He is too cute. I would never date him. Like, this for me... It's so like, you're the opposite. Yeah, you're I'm the like, opposite. opposite. It's the same thing. You no, want to date exactly. somebody who's just prettier exactly. than you. Exactly. You want to date somebody who's on your same level. And we want to, now, we, not, now we now. But no, back in the day. Back in the day. Oh, back, in the day. Yeah. back in the day. So how are you guys now? Now I date my co-equal. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, but yeah, even yeah, if you're yeah. cuter than me, I don't think, okay, he's out of my range anymore. I still, I'm thinking I still, like, I still go for it. It's not an out of my range, but you know how like you have this bomb pic. You take a bomb picture, right? And you're feeling yourself. I look good. Then you keep looking at that picture, you're like, then your face starts shifting. You're like, oh, I'm so cute. I'm ugly. I think there's it cute boys. Like yeah, it's like cute boys. Like, your Michael Ely is so beautiful that he's ugly. I just like, this blue eyes for real? That blue? <laughs> and then it's just like, you're just that cute? Like, it's annoying. I'm, I'm not trying to be a hater, but it's just like, can you just imagine waking up to someone and they're just like, like Beyonce, I woke up like this. I mean, some of us have to get there, and you're just. Mm. But that, that's your man. <laughs> it's like yeah. that's that's yours at that but point. But then how? But I feel like that's different than saying I want to date someone. Like I date someone uglier than me. Like what the fuck? That well, you're not gonna be going for the yeah. ugly guys. It just happens. It's like, it's like, it's like, no, but some people are literally like the whole medium ugly thing. Uh, people are attracted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. people are attracted to people who they think are uglier or can I say something? <laughs> no, that's no, all me. Loki though are we are we guys or they have very shitty attitude. Yes. That's yeah. how yeah. they are guys yeah. have yeah. Yeah. and that's the one thing too. It's like the one guy that I gave a chance to knowing damn well that I was prettier than him. And I'm thinking, okay, cool. I know that in this in this situation, I'm cuter than you. Right. I'm cuter than, than you. Than you. Right. And then it's like you came to me. You worked hard to then obtain me. So then you have to work hard to keep me because right. you know that no. I'm prettier than you. No, you they don't have, do that. You know, guys, all the guys they, they get don't. comfortable. They, they think they get arrogant. They, they, yeah. they get so arrogant. And I think like Billie Eilish said this was like all over TikTok. Yeah, she said you saw her, right? Saw she was like, was you know, that. when you oh my god, I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, but like when you give ugly dudes a chance because they've got this like pretty girl. Oh, this goes into another topic but because they've got this pretty girl and you know they're like stunning up people then you want to be arrogant and cocky like oh you're my friend yeah step it down to your level she said, she you're ugly. still ugly you're still ugly, you're still ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said I remember, I, I, yeah, yeah i remember um dating this guy but i gotta say he's gone yeah i remember dating this guy <laughs> i was cute that I, I know i, was oh. cute <laughs> I knew i was cute <laughs> It was just too much for me. Like he kept saying, "Oh, you, you never find someone better than me, bitch." I did. I did. <laughs> you saw it. She saw it. She saw it. Like, Thank you, because all these people like to mm, talk. She did. Mm. She did. I'll let you know. That's Rachel right. won't say it. I will say it. <laughs> she did. You guys today, I'm the calm one. <laughs> today, you're the calm one. But she calm. did. Oh, like God. I can't do it. Like oh, I cannot. Oh, but I think I think it's okay to give like let's say if you're used to dating guys that are like on your level, right? Mm -hmm. I think in my situation, I felt like I was always talking to guys that I felt like okay, I'm attracted to. But with this guy, I had to fall in love with his personality, mm -hmm. and then I was like, okay, you're cute. Yeah. yeah. But with some guys, you just look at them and you're like, oh you're, yeah, you're, you're fine. cute. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're yeah. Fine. And I always I feel like that might be where my thing of like seeing someone is fine might not really make me attracted to them off the jump because like with my experience in that they're so desired by other girls mm -hmm. that they don't really like have that humility and like just equalness like they always have this arrogance about them like so do you think 
pretty boys are cocky. So you don't approach yeah, the don't, pretty boys because you think that they know that they're they're. I don't pretty. approach them seriously. Like if you're a pretty boy, I'll let you know you're cute because I'm the type of person like if y'all know me, I hype people up. Like if you look good, you look good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I like I'll let you know you look good. But like in terms of like really taking them seriously. I'm 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 a person I don't really do well with competition. I don't want to be in a group or category of girls that are interested. I don't like to be in a group like you know the pretty boys like they have a good amount of girls that they're interested in. So you're but this, this is all an assumption. No 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 no. Pretty no. boys. I feel like uh, I have no, a no, no, let me let me tell, no. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying that there's girls that are interested in them, not because like that not that right. entertain. But this is my from my experience. I'm not because if we do the not all not all we won't have a conversation, right? Okay. From my experience, the guys that are like you know the shit mm -hmm. and they know it and they know that they get girls don't really like they have this confidence and aura that, about them that's unattractive or the ones that are cute and don't know they're cute like so much confidence that there's no there's no in between i've never met an in between of a fine man who was also like confident in himself in a in a, in a good way i have i feel like if you're fine you're so humble you're, you're very humble i've met so many like not you guys, guys are that are very, very humble. No, 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 no. Okay, they're, I they're, not, they're not being very cocky about no, it. They're... I think we need to clarify. Okay. I think we need to clarify because there is attractiveness to being cute, but you don't know that you're that cute. I'm talking about, like, societal standards of cute. I'm talking mm -hmm. about, like, let's think about when we watch shows like Love Island, the mm -hmm. light-skinned guys, with, you know, like, um, what people generally, what society generally yeah, think is as the like fine guy, guy that athlete, that job, the right. one with abs, whatever, right, like, right. you know, NCAA, like, you know, those ones, the NBA wannabes, whatever. Right. I'm talking about those. I'm not talking about the guys that are, like, I think my greatest example of this is everyone argues about whether or not Michael B. Jordan is fine. The reason why people argue about whether Michael B. Jordan is fine because he's not like super damn fine. He's like yeah. the average guy fine that we're talking about. Like, you got it. You got yeah. this aura. Yeah. You're yeah. cute and you don't even know you're really that cute. Like, he's yeah. cute, but like not everybody sees it's it. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the cute that everybody sees. There's no denying yeah, that everybody knows you're fine. You, everybody okay. knows you're fine and you know you're fine. Okay. okay. Y'all, I can't do. I can't do them. But it's like on a side note, there's a picture going around with mm. Michael B. Jordan and Steve Harvey next to each other. Look at the line! The oh. minute you said his name, I saw Steve Harvey. <laughs> that killed it for me. No. Oh, that killed it for Honestly, me. Honestly? I thought he was so fine. And then Until I like, picture, then he like, looked like, mm, it's a no for me, dog. <laughs> I have to pass. But, but yeah, yeah, I feel like I have, a, cool. I have a question for you guys. So would you date... Um, not they. Would you be in a relationship with someone that is ugly and would go 50 50, would not go 50 50 with, with you, but would go 70 30? Or like he wants to pay more. He wants to pay more. Like in a ugly. relationship. You said ugly, he's like, ugly. But then the thing is, is he, he's ugly to me? <laughs> you yes, know he's that? Ugly. Yes, he's, he's ugly. So what I. Then you're with him for oh, money. money. Okay. That's, that's okay. A, so would you be with someone? Bonker. Yeah, so you'd be some with someone who's ugly, but they have money. Right. Because that's where. It, the question comes in: right. Does money make you attractive? Yeah. No. Would I be with somebody I who is ugly no. but has money? What's the other side? The or, other side is or he's cute but he's very poor. poor. Yeah. I think like. But am I attracted to you? Like, like right. he's like, poor, but you guys should be building up a foundation. Together. Okay, yeah. so, so the ugly guy has no building. emotional connection. He's just money. He's just money. And okay. the poor guy has emotional like connection. Like type thing. Yeah. But the poor guy has. Emotional connection, he's just like poverty. Right. He's like, he's but yeah, you're going to help him build up his. Yeah. I'll go with the poor guy. Yeah. Okay. But the thing is. I just put the poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, though, this is what I would like to say. Being rich and having money and then being poor and not having money doesn't really correlate to who you are. You know what I mean? Like, like you're saying that this mm -hmm. this guy is rich and he's paying, but then this guy is poor, but you're together. It's like, yeah, he's poor, but is he putting in the effort? Is does he want to? Where's yeah. the intention? Yeah. I would rather have someone who intends and doesn't have mm -hmm. yet, because that man will always get it eventually. Mm -hmm. Than someone who has it and is Too only boastful. and is boastful and is right. arrogant about taking care of you. Like, no, like for me. Money does not make you attractive. How you handle it now? If you are a man who has money 
and you aren't boastful about covering it and you're very like you're handling matters yeah. but you're not throwing it in my face that you make more than me you could do this and i i need you for financial support that is an ideal man right. that i would like to find uh, hallelujah let me testify that i need in my life like that is a perfect combination it to is. me because i got it because like, i saw uh what's it called facebook post about donald trump a rich guy who is um, supposedly a rich guy <laughs> donald trump a rich guy rich who has um who has married a lot of females mm -hmm. most of most of the females were not Rich has sent you with yeah. basically poor, so and depend on him financially. Exactly. So, if as females, if we found a guy like Donald Trump, <laughs> what, would you what, do? what would you do? What, okay, so yeah. now, now I'm looking at Donald Trump exactly not his physical, but like, face, like, but like, like, a, guy, like a guy like Donald Trump, and, and there was no like intimacy or like nothing about him, he just like doesn't care. Basically, it's a no. Because I feel like all three of us are confident in our own financial yeah, standing and what right. we can do for ourselves. That that isn't a thing that we're like yeah. desperate for. Yeah, and it's like in a sense, I feel sometimes I feel very uncomfortable when men give me gifts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's like I don't want you to ever feel like you have to provide for me right. or you have to bribe me, like bribe me for my affection, like buy right. my, my affection, right. but like gifts and mm -hmm. all these other things. Mm -hmm. It's like. I think it, it depends so on what you need yeah. or like on your love language. Let's bring that back. Because if your <laughs> love language is like um, gifts, gifts like gift you're, giving, yeah, yeah, then it's different, you know? But it's like if you are more into like quality time, then you don't, you may. So, what are you guys' your love language? Um, like the top three. My top three are um, quality time, um, uh, words of affirmation, and act of service and it's switched when it's quality time act of service and word of affirmation so like <laughs> clearly they're sisters <laughs> okay somebody um on twitter had said that your love languages are what you needed as a child mm -hmm. so it's like if you guys think about it and yours are yeah. the same three you guys grew up in the same like household environment wow. so it kind of makes sense i know i peeped and that's it <laughs> but yeah, um, my top one is words of affirmation, quality time, and physical touch. Mm -hmm. And like, with me, like receiving gifts has always been weird because that's the lowest scoring one. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I appreciate gifts if it's like genuine, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to spend too much money on me. Like, right. if you spend like, you know, little money, and it's something that I really love, and I also have expensive taste, so sometimes you gotta do it, but the fact that it's something that I love and you picked up on it mm -hmm. is the thing that really does it for me. Right. Yeah. So, what y'all think? I think for me, it's just time spent together, but I agree. I think if you're, even like receiving gifts is kind of odd for me. Maybe some gifts are just too, too big, you know, like. For where you guys are at in that right, relationship. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do, do you guys also think that it's, because we are raised in an African um, African way, because our dad, our parent, did not give us a gift, did not did not provide us with gifts, but they, like they showed your love by us Doing go pay, things, yeah, yeah. pay for our tuitions and all this stuff. You yeah. think that's why our um, love? We don't want you. Yeah. yeah, I think it might be. I think it is because it's like we understand that love can be shown in other ways. Right. But then also like. Like I said, I like giving gifts because I also know what it's like to want something and not receive it. Right. So it's like, it is, there is that element of how we were raised in right. these love languages. Right. Um, yeah, but so what's our ruling on this topic? Because we've had a lot of topics. We've talked yeah. a lot. We've talked a lot. I think the ruling is that money doesn't make a guy attractive. Mm -hmm. And if you're broke, can so you yeah. come and talk to us? Can no, you? No. You can't. No. <laughs> it's like, if you don't know, if you don't know your money situation, if you have not looked at your bank account, yeah. and that goes for having money and not having money. Yeah. If you are not financially aware or not working to be financially literate, 
you can't talk to me. Like and that that I'll stand by. If okay. you don't know so financial literacy, receipt, do not speak to me. Okay. No, but because I'm tired of being. So then it's not about being poor. It's about you being aware of, of your finances. finances. So yeah. like we don't sound like we're naive. We're, we're, we're shallow. 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 Yeah, yeah. No. It's not about being poor. Be it's aware. About how to manage your money. Yeah. Right. And the little money you have, how to manage it. And the lot of money you have, how to manage it. Because you're not ready to, to be invested in a relationship. Don't be in it. Yeah. 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 If you're not like, date, you're equal. Oh yeah. You're so equal. Am okay. I be, equal? Am I your call equal? Because all of you guys dating people because they're uglier than you, you guys are weird. Yeah. I think that's weird. I think if that's the sole reason why you're attracted to somebody, because yeah. they're yeah. hoping that you're physically better than better them. than that. Yeah. 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 say in the relationship, yeah. that's weird. Oh, on that note, and that's on. Mary had a little lamb. Thank you. Where the money reside. Where the money reside. Where the money reside. Right. Thanks, y'all, for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe, Bye. like, comment, mm -hmm. and share, and share, all yeah. that. Yes. Six, six, sixteen. Believe you mad these days, bro. <laughs> Thank you all to those who participated in our giveaway. It was our first one ever, and it was it was amazing. We had a lot of people enter for it. We were able to reach a winner, and to Sanhi, congratulations. Woo! We hope you like your little gift. Uh -huh. We're going to be doing more giveaways, so please stay with us. And we, keep joining, and keep yeah, sharing. Yeah, please. Put it, and please put your friends on that you think would love yeah, to exactly. watch us. We're literally reachable so yes i've built yes. a lot of friendships or like bonds with people who watch us on youtube yes because, like that's how we are like we're sisters we all like are that. and don't forget to follow us on ig, IG. fall rains yes, yes. DM and stay us. connected yes. yeah please dm us with topics that you want us to talk about we're as diana said we're very open to like suggestions and just want to build a community with you guys yeah so on that note catch you next time see ya